What's up guys, Aaron here from Denny Collins Fitness and so today's topic is we're talking about the classic line of Aaron, no matter what I do, I cannot lose weight. So here we are today to discuss the reasons why you are not losing weight or why you cannot lose weight, okay? So I have a few points wrote down in front of me. I'm going to rant on each of them. I'll be under five minutes and hopefully take away some value from the video. So number one reason you're not losing weight is you have no structure, okay? If you're somebody that wakes up every day and you're kind of not sure what you're going to have for breakfast, you're going to wing lunch, you'll see what's there for dinner, and I'll probably just have a few snacks in the evening. I guarantee with a lack of structure, you are going to overshoot your calories, you're going to consume mindlessly, and there's a lot of calories going to get in unknowingly if you're not planning what you're going to have, okay? So reason number one is you have no structure and you're winging your nutrition, okay? Reason number two is you have no idea of calories, tracking or awareness, or you're not tracking calories, okay? So not that you have to track calories for your entire life, okay? But you need to educate yourself on calories. So number two would be educating yourself on calories. Um, if you have no idea how much uh, calories you're consuming every single day, let's say you're just having peanut butter unknowingly and you're having full fat versions and you're having butter, etc., and you have no idea of how many calories you're actually consuming, you'll never know where you need to pull back. You will never know what swaps you could make. You will never know what your daily budget might be for your calories. So reason number two, you're not losing weight is you're not tracking or you're unaware of the calorie content of all the foods that you are uh, eating and on a daily basis and drinking. Uh, reason number three is you're a snack. You're a snacker or you're a nibbler or you're a grazer, okay? So this is a big one, guys. If you're somebody that, let's say, you have a little bit of peanut butter on your bread and then you take one spoonful just for yourself, or if you do that with spreads and oils, or when you're prepping dinner for the kids that you have one or two chicken wings, fish fingers, or when you're prepping dinner for the family, you're kind of nibbling as you're going, or in the office if there's a few little bits and you're taking pinches, Guys, they all add up, okay? Every little pinch of something, every little extra dip, every little spread. I am not saying that you have to live your life like a monk, but reason number three that you're not losing weight is you're a snacker, you're a grazer, and you're a nibbler, and you might not even realize you're doing it. But it's a huge one, okay? So keep that in mind as well. Number four is liquid calories, okay? Similar story to the snacking, nibbling, and grazing. If you're somebody that enjoys the cappuccino instead of a black coffee, that's 100 calories there, okay? So stuff like your coffees, your fancy coffees especially, if you're a latte drinker, mochas, stuff like that, you're drinking lots of empty calories that are tallying up your calories by the end of the day, but they will not satisfy you at all and you won't feel full. The same goes for your fizzy drinks, your Cokes, your Pepsis, XYZ. If you're drinking calories, guys, they add up quick, okay? I think that was reason number four, as far as I remember. Two, three, in round. <laughs> so, next one, guys, is the end number five, is oils and spreads. I kind of touch on this with the snacking, etc. If you're somebody that likes full-fat butter, and there's nothing wrong with it, but if you're somebody that takes a big dollop of it and puts it in, that tallies up, that adds up quickly. Peanut butter, another spread, it's very easy to overdo. Oils and spreads are huge, guys, when it comes to your calorie content. Okay, so the stuff that, let's say you just like a drizzle of olive oil, nobody really has a drizzle, okay? We all drowned it. Uh, sauces and condiments, if you're somebody that likes your mayonnaise, your ketchup, your barbecue sauces and stuff, I love them, but I'm mindful of them, okay? So if you're somebody that takes a big dollop of mayonnaise, that's 100 calories in the bank, okay? If you're somebody that destroys stuff in ketchup, the whole lot of it, you can easily tally up between 50 and 100 calories on every single time you do that, okay? Oil spreads, sauces, condiments are huge, guys, okay? That's number five, I think. One, two, three, four, five, yep. 
final one guys and a huge one an absolute huge one is the weekend okay nobody wants to hear this but it's what undoes most of our progress okay weekend spikes are a huge factor and a huge contributor to why you're not losing weight okay if you're somebody that is awesome Monday to Friday and you are perfect on Monday to Friday okay uh, let's say for example off the top of my head if on Monday to Friday you're consuming 2,000 calories and you're like yes okay and Saturday Sunday you go feck it it's the weekend feck it I've earned it I've worked hard enough and you consume 4,000 calories on Saturday and Sunday which is very easy to do you are unfortunately when it comes to a body fat and weigh in perspective you are undoing your Monday to Friday work okay not that all is lost but you are definitely prolonging your progress okay if you're somebody that says feck it at the weekends and you say I've earned it and you have your cheat meals and your treat meals etc it's very likely that that is undoing all of your progress from Monday to Friday if you're somebody that does that on the weekends and you don't track your weekends you have no right to complain if the scales is not moving okay so if you're somebody that does five awesome days and two terrible days you're breaking even okay i am sorry to say but that is the fact okay so guys to recover it and hopefully offer some solutions so number one no structure or winging it try have some kind of regular eating schedule in place okay whether you have four square meals a day or you give yourself three meals and two snacks a day have a structure to what you're eating every single day number two educate yourself on calorie balance okay not for the rest of your life but for six to eight weeks why not keep a food diary and keep the calorie content of everything you're eating why not use an app like MyFitnessPal, etc., just to use uh, for a period of time or any of the apps that are out there. Number two, educate yourself on calories, what you're eating, how much you're consuming. It's the only way. You don't have to do it the rest of your life, but you should educate yourself. Okay. Number three, be aware of liquid calories. Okay. Instead of the full fat mochas, lattes, fancy frappuccinos, etc., have a black coffee, okay? Or instead of the full fat Coke 7-Up, etc., have a Coke Zero, have a 7-Up Free, have a Club Zero, okay? Huge factor, big swap out. Number four, I'm gonna put all these into one. You're snacking and you're nibbling, etc. Nothing wrong with it, but as long as you're aware of it, it's a huge factor, okay? Be aware to factor in your snacking, your nibbling, your grazing when you're food prepping, be aware of it your oils and spreads condiments stuff like that your ketchups mayos barbecues all your sauces oils all of that just be mindful i am not saying remove them i am just saying be mindful choose the low sugar no added salt alternatives when they're there choose the lighter than light mayo if it's there barbecue choose the lower calorie option if it's there there's thousands of products and brands dedicated to having the lower calorie version if you want to do it great if you want the full fat version, just be mindful of the portion and the size you're using, okay? And the final one, guys, on the weekends, I am not saying that you need to stop enjoying life, okay? But if you're saying fuck it at the weekends, you can say fuck it to the results, okay? You're not going to get them. So on the weekends, factor in what you would like to include. If you want your takeaway, great. Factor it into your calories, okay? Or my, my opinion, if you're depriving yourself Monday to Friday and you feel the need to binge and blow out Saturday and Sunday, there's something wrong in your nutrition. You have two options. Either factor in your weekends and keep your calories in check. That's number one. Or number two is throughout the week, introduce a little bit of life. Have your treats daily factored into your calories Monday to Friday so it will stop that need and that urge to binge and blow out Saturday and Sunday okay so guys i hope all of that helps we've listed all of the problems there and i've given you some solutions i hope you found some value 
please be aware that if you're one of these people that says I just can't lose weight you are probably a culprit of doing some of these things that we've just listed okay I hope it helps I hope you found some value please comment below let me know what you think any questions let us know have a great one guys see you soon